lalagay na natin yung value ng limits. We have 5 times 5.1 square over 2 minus 5 times 4.9 square over 2. The mean of the continuous random variable x now is equal to... Hi everyone, this is Ed Guzman and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For this lecture video, we are going to discuss how to calculate the mean, variance, and standard deviation of the continuous random variables. So, without further ado, let's begin. The mean, variance, and standard deviation can also be defined for a continuous random variable. The difference between discrete and continuous is sa formula natin ng mean, variance, and standard deviation sa discrete probability distribution, we have a summation. So, in continuous random variable, we will replace the summation with integration. Suppose that x is a continuous random variable with probability density function f of x. Our formula for mean or expected value of x denoted as, again, yung mu natin or yung e of x is this formula. Mean is equal to the integral of x times f of x dx from negative infinity to positive infinity. And for the variance, denoted again as the sigma square, can be calculated with this formula. Again, from all the formulas na nakita natin sa mean, variance, and standard deviation ng discrete random variable, papalitan lang natin yung summation sign ng integral sign dahil nga we don't have a exact and specific value pagdating sa continuous random variable. And for the standard deviation naman, of course, we have the square root of sigma square or simply sigma na lang. Now, the equivalence of the two formulas for variance can be derived from the same approach used for discrete random variables. Example number one, let the continuous random variable x denote the current measured in a wire in milliamperes. Assume that the range of x is from 4.9 to 5.1 milliamperes. And assume that the probability density function of x or simply the f of x is equal to 5 for 4.9 less than or equal x less than or equal 5.1. Calculate the mean, variance, and standard deviation. For the current measurement in this example, we will just use the given formula to solve for the mean of its random variable x. So for the mean, we have mu or simply the e of x or the expected value equals the integral of x times f of x dx from negative infinity to positive infinity. So, isa-substitute natin yung value. Meron tayong value ng f of x, of course, which is 5. Ang first limit natin is 4.9. Upper limit is 5.1. So, substituting the values, we have the integral of x times 5 dx, or simply, pwede natin sulit yan as 5x na, from 4.9 to 5.1. And simply, calculating the value, this is 5x square over 2 from 4.9 to 5.1. So, this is again, lalagay na natin yung value ng limits. We have 5 times 5.1 square over 2 minus 5 times 4.9 square over 2. The mean of the continuous random variable x now is equal to 5. So this is the value. Next, for the variance of the continuous random variable x natin, variance is equal to, we have the formula integral of x minus the mean quantity square times f of x dx from negative infinity to positive infinity. Substituting the values, we have the integral of x minus, ang mean natin is 5, quantity square, ang f of x natin again is 5, dx from 4.9 to 5.1. Using directly a calculator, the value variance is equal to 0 0.00 3, 3, 3. For the standard deviation naman again, kukunin lang natin yung square root ng variance. Standard deviation is equal to the square root of 0 0.00333 and ang standard deviation natin now is equal to 0 
0.58. So these are now the values for the mean variance and standard deviation for our continuous random variable x and this is example number one. In calculating the value of the mean, variance, and standard deviation of continuous random variables, ang magiging possible difficulty lang natin is yung integration mismo. So, possible, maka-encounter tayo ng integration by parts or something. We just have to be careful when integrating the given functions of the continuous random variables.